This game is the uh, smaller version of Monkey in the Middle, and maybe you only have three players. Um, the kind of standard game that a lot of us might have played with any kind of ball growing up when you're just trying to keep the ball away from the person in the middle. So now what you have um, in a soccer version of Monkey in the Middle is somebody in the uh, middle zone. So again, they're separated each other by these zones. Everybody has to stay within their zone. Um, and one side is just simply trying to pass to the other. When the player in the middle... Um, intercepts the ball then they're going to switch with the person they have intercepted from that's the idea there now again if somebody's in for a long time you can modify these rules where if um, you know four five six passes in a row are made then you're gonna switch with somebody if the person in the middle gets a touch on the ball then maybe you can switch out right a lot of different ways to modify that um, so that one person is not in the middle the entire time so a demonstration of this game the blue player at the bottom of the screen has the ball, uh, the player in the middle is trying to intercept, and the player on the far side is trying to receive the ball. So um, what you're going to have here, this little diagram is player dribbling over to the right, trying to create that little passing angle. As soon as he sees that passing angle is open, the target player is moved into an open passing lane, he passes the ball. Right, so now they completed one pass, and the middle's got to try and intercept the ball from the other side. The other side tries to pass it back. Now it's intercepted, and once they intercept it, they switch positions and they play again. Right, pretty simple idea. Um, again, you can play with all passes on the ground. You can play where you've got to chip the ball um, in the air and see if uh, you can't do it that way. Chipping the ball in the air is difficult in a socially distancing way because normally you'd want people to be able to change zones. Um, to be able to intercept the ball that goes over their head. So uh, until that gets lifted, we probably want to just play with the ball on the ground. Um, very simple idea that if uh, no passes are getting through, then you should try and make the, the zone a little bit wider. Um, if too many passes are getting through, try and make it a little bit more narrow, right? So players have the, the ability to think through their issues on the field and create a field size that um, makes sense for the most amount of fun and the best level of challenge.